Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Doc Tucker back at you with a word. Thank you, Father God, for another wonderful Saturday morning. Boy, I thank you, Father God. Everybody didn't wake up this morning. Yes, I said it. Everybody didn't wake up this morning, boy. Every day above ground is a good day right now. I'm telling you, boy, and again, can I, and, and let the church say amen. Oh, yeah, by the way, the music that's playing in the background, I don't have the copyright for this music right here, so I want to get that out now, and thank you, Father God. Woo, thank you. It's really nice music, though, boy. I'm telling you, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like spiritual instrumental, boy, just to set the tone for your house early in the morning and, and everything going, and you just be listening to the Lord our God. Yes, I said the Lord our God. Mm. I need you to get your Bibles, and I need you to go with me into the book of Proverbs chapter 4. Yes, I said Proverbs chapter 4. Mm. This is the end of the week. Today is the Saturday and the end of the week. Have you been keeping your hands in Jesus' hands? Have you been believing everything that he's been saying? Have you been believing the promises of God? That's what I'm talking about. How is your faith? How is your faith? Have you been believing? Have you been proclaiming the, everything? The Bible says keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. Have you, been have you been proclaiming the blessings of God upon you and your family? We got to keep pushing. There's blessings in the pressing. Let me say it to you again. There's blessing in the pressing, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Let me get this off right here right quick. Let me talk to you about Jesus right now. Let me tell you something. I'm going to do you have the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what I'm talking about this morning. How is your faith? You know, do you have the faith that the woman had an issue of blood? Do you have the faith of the ruler, of the, the God, the man that came to get Jesus to resurrect his daughter? Do you have the faith? Do you have the faith of the two blind men that, that Jesus restored their sight? How is your faith today? How is your faith? That's what I'm talking about. What are you believing God for? Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for another wonderful day in my life. And I thank God for, for, for blessing your life because the blessings of God, whether you want to admit it or not, is upon your life if you're watching me. And while and while you're watching me, reach over there to your left and hit like and then hit on or reach over there to the right and hit subscribe. And if you're not, if, 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 if that's what I'm saying, and hit the notification. That means that whenever I'm online or something going on and I'm giving the word out that you would always get a notification. Come on, Holy Ghost. That's what I'm talking about this morning. He said, if you hear his, the Bible said, if you hear his voice, not to harden your heart, most people kick against it, but wait till something touch your life. And then we got to holler, Jesus, Jesus, it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. That's what I'm saying. So right now, I'm talking, but the word does say, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord. Come on now, Holy Ghost. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, I'm telling you, I know these folks going to be saying, what is he doing up in his apartment this early this morning? That man need to be sleeping. Now, I'm walking around teaching and preaching, and if I got to baptize, I'll be baptizing, or whatever I got to do. I'm talking about this morning, what are you believing God for? Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to do some reading this morning. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some reading this morning. I want you to get this and I want you to go back and get it for yourself. Yes. Proverbs chapter four, we're going to start reading in verse one and it says, hear my children, the instruction of a father and give attention to no understanding for I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law when I was my father's son tender and the only one in the sight of my mother he also taught me and said to me let your heart retain my words mm. keep my commands and live get wisdom get understanding come on now holy ghost do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth Lord, the Lord our God is speaking to you this morning. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. Because some people, some people are just falling away. Some people are falling away. People are turning to the left. They're turning to the right. They're just, and being people are being led away to hell. People are being led to hell. And the enemy and the devil, is he's out in the open now. Just, and everybody's just laughing and laughing and playing with him. He's leading them right on the hill. Eternal damnation. Yeah, I said it. Verse 6. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Okay, come on now. Come on now. Her love her and she will keep you. We talking okay now. That's what I'm saying. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you are getting, get understanding. Mm. The word of God. In all you are getting, get. get <laughs> in all you are getting, get understanding. Mm. Verse eight. 
exalt her and she will promote you. She would bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace. Mm. In verse nine. Mm. Okay, no, I ain't, yeah, verse nine. Part B, a crown of glory she will deliver to you. Mm. Pray for God's grace over your life. Right now, there's so many things happening in the world. So many things are going on when you turn your TV on and you're looking on the news. You got shootings. You got you got all kind of hooking and crooking up there in politics. You got you got the booster shots, the uh, monkey pox happening. See, the COVID-19 was the was the door to open up the door to a lot of things to happen. Now think about it now. COVID-19, okay, and they got they they people think they had it under control, but you can't nobody, nobody they, we, we talking about the Lord our God. He allowed things to happen. He's holy. He stand back and he just move. He just take his hand. All he got to do is take his hands off of it, and he need to move back. COVID nineteen took out a lot of folk. Then everybody started thinking vaccines and, and and booster shots and all that. Oh man, everybody started walking around. Everything like they're trying to put everything back to normal. I don't want everything to go back to the way it used to be years ago because that means that God might have saved me from being. God has saved me from a lot, and if I was to go back, that means it might get me this time. I don't want to go back. So now, so that's why I'm saying we need to move forward. So now we got COVID. Now we got the monkey pox. And now they're talking about booster shots and stuff to, to, to combat the monkey pox and all of this type of stuff going on. You got prices going up in food, prices going up in gas. That's why I continue to tell you to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Pray for, 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 for God's grace and mercy over your house this morning. Yes, yes, don't, don't, don't wait till the last minute. And be talking about, well, I'll get it when I, I'm just going to praise God, man, when I get through doing what I'm doing. And then the whole time that God, and then, then God take his hand off your house. Yeah, I said he take his hands off your house and death comes to your door knocking. Your child, your wife, your mama, your daddy. That's that's life. Death's going to touch everybody. But when you got the grace and mercy of God over your life, it kind then it kind of comes with that peace and that rest. And it comes with that healing and deliverance. It kind of it, it, it kind of helps you out. That's what I'm saying this morning. So, and 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 and, and even and uh, and the Bible says, and all you're getting, get understanding, get the word of God. From the please continue to plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family, mentally, physically, socially, spiritually, and financially. For every situation, every circumstance, every need, and every area in your life and your family life, apply the blood of Jesus. Seal them in the blood of Jesus. Apply the arm of God over you and your family and loosen the Holy Ghost fire over you because the words that he gave you power and authority to trample the serpents and scorpions up on your feet. Come on, Holy Ghost. And see, that's what I'm saying. <coughs> Excuse me. And you got a lot of things that go on and a lot of things that people are not, they're not, people are not telling you about this stuff. They're not saying that a lot of people ain't reading the Bible. They're trying to get it from everybody else. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except by me. You got to have Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. You can't, you can't borrow. The, you, you, if you borrow Jesus from somebody else, it could be Lucifer that they're serving, looking like Jesus, the real life, and they attack your life. Yes. It's time for wisdom. It's time to pick that word up. It's time to read. It's time to pray. He said, well, I don't know where to start reading at. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. You pick this book up right here. You get your one-year Bible. You go get your one-year Bible. Yeah, I'm not advertising a young one-year Bible. I'm advertising what's in the Bible. And I, I, open, I, I open it up. I open it up. Let me open it up. Well, what? The, I open it up, and it is July the 30th, okay? And you and, and, and July the 30th, this way, and, and, uh, and uh, this way it starts at. And, when, and whenever you get it, you start reading right there. See where it says July 30th? You start reading right there. I'm too much. You start reading it. It's time to get the word of God. It's time to get it. See what I'm saying? It's time to get it. It's time to get it. It's time to get it, you know? And that's what I'm saying. And let me say it to you again. I'm not advertising the the, uh, the one year Bible and the folks that and all this. I, I want you to get the word. See, because a lot of time it'll help you to get the word. Some people say, well, man, I just don't Lord, I don't know where to start reading it. All you got to do is get your one year Bible. Get it in a translation that you understand. Don't don't be listening to other folk. Well, you need to get it in this way. No, you get it the way you need to have it. Some people can't read. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. 
I put a King James in front of folks, and folks didn't even know how to read a King James Bible. They because they understand it wasn't great because they was they was milk. Sometimes sometimes you had to give them a King James. Sometimes you know, and the least I would give them the Bible I give them, I would give them an NLT that way they would get the understanding. And then when they when they grow stronger, then they'll be able to reach out and they'll be able to grab the King James and they'll be able to read it. Yeah, I said it. Let's see, that's for you Bible scholars out there. Yeah, that, that's for them people that, well, you know, the Bible says you need to do your research on King James anyway. So I'm going to tell you something now. But the word of God is the word of God. I'm talking about regardless, the word of God is powerful, you know, sharper than any two-edged sword. I'm talking about, there it is. There it is. So I'm not, I'm not advertising the book. I'm advertising what's in the book. If you don't know what to read, Get your one-year Bible, start reading it every morning. That's your worship with God. Before you get down in it, before you start reading it, before you start reading, pray about it and ask God to open up your mind and your heart to give you, to, to give it to you, to give it to where you're able to see it in everyday life and you be able to talk about somebody and be excited about it. When people, but then, and that's what I'm saying. I had a brother gave me mine. Oh, I had a brother call me, a brother, George Malone out of Huntsville. I mean, we was in truck driving school together, man, a couple of years, way years back. Yeah, I got my CDLs. <laughs> and, uh, mm, and he, uh, and he said, hey, hey, our brother, Doc. He said, hey, 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 brother, Doc. Uh, man, I want you to try some. I said, what's that, brother? He said, man, I'm, and he brought me a one-year Bible. Yeah. And he gave it to me. I've been reading it for years. I'm, I was going to truck driving school in what, 2010? Somebody that 2010, 2009, 2010, yeah. And I met him, and, and I met him back then. And I've been, I've, I've been having one year, well, I've been reading a one-year Bible for years. I'm talking about, and getting it. I'm not saying I know everything, because every time you open it up and you read it every year, it's something different. God gives you something different every year. You might be reading the same thing every year, but you, but, but he's giving you wisdom and knowledge and understanding, and to understand it, and you're growing you. He's growing you. He's grooming you. He's getting your mind ready. That's what I'm talking about. That's the relationship. That's the relationship. That's what I want to talk to you about this morning. I want you to go back and get uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verses 1 through uh, one through 9. I want you to go back and get it for yourself. But if you want to get into a, 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 if you want to build a relationship between you and the Lord, your God. Yes, I said the Lord, your God. Get your one-year Bible. Go get your one-year Bible and get it in the, uh, don't, don't get it in the chronological. Get it in, in just a regular one-year Bible. And, and, and you go to reading it. You start reading it for whatever day. That you get it, whatever that day is, you don't go back. You don't wait the whole year and pass on. You go back. You start reading it on that day, or you start reading when you get. You start reading it then, and then and then and, then, and then ask God to build that relationship between you and Him, and watch what He do. Watch what He do. I tell you what, God is so good to me in my life. I'm I've been walking through. I've been. I've walked through a lot of things, and been praying for a lot of people. And I'm praying and hoping that a lot of folks been praying for me. And I don't want the blood to be on my hands when he said, why didn't you tell them? I said, I got to give you the truth. And today, if, you, if you're tired of serving the devil, if you're tired of living for the world, all you got to do is say, Father God, I surrender. Today, I surrender. I just, Father God, I surrender to you and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I surrender and I confess that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and you raised him up, Father God, in three days. Father God, and Jesus lives, I surrender myself and I confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in my life. That's all you got to say. I surrender. You say it right behind me. You say it after me right there. And then right there. And that's God. And then, and then, I'm, and then when you say it, I'm saying it to you like this. When you say it and you mean it from your heart, I'm asking God to bring some send your senior people that'll pray for you. And then, then now it's time to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in the mighty name. That's a get exciting, boy. I'm going to tell you something. And then when they dip you in that water, I'm telling, I ain't talking about when they pour in a bucket of water on you sitting in the chair. I ain't talking about all that foolishness. I'm talking about when you dip in the water. When he, when they, I'm talking when that pastor go to talking to you and he's saying what he's saying to you and he dip you in that water, you'll hear him say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, and you'll hear it. You will hear him say that, and, and I'm telling you, and, and your mama and your daddy may leave you, your, your, your brother and your sister or your folks may leave you, your boy your girl may leave you, but he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Man, that was the most wonderful thing I've heard in my life. I'm talking about today. If you hear his voice, not to harden your heart, don't kick against him because the life you may save may be your own, and most definitely in that case, it will be your life. That's what I'm talking about. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe over there. And hit, because everybody needs to get the word. But and, and all I can do is ask. 
And if the Lord our God bless you to be to to to, to want to give a love offering or give a title or, or donate into Dr. Tucker Ministry, then do so. Hit my inbox. If you require prayer, hit my inbox. I will, man, we can get together, we can pray, we can you can read and read a scripture together, whatever. I don't know everything. I don't know everything. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm guided through the Holy Ghost. I'm guided through the Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know anything. I don't know everything. People people might call me. Well, I want to test you. I'm going to hang up in your face. Oh, Lord Jesus, I got the demons out now. They want to test me and see what I know. I'm going to pray over you. I'm going to talk to you about it. And I'm going to give it to you the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. I'm not going to give it to you the way man gave it to me. I'm going to give it to you the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. So if you require prayer, hit my inbox. You require prayer. Even if you just want to talk, even if you want to cut down some trees. Yes, I said, even if you want to cut down some trees and just talk, I talk to you. I talk to you. I'm gonna I give you the word of God and I tell you what I, I tell you what the Holy Spirit tell me. Yeah. And I and I will give you what the, what God tell me to give you. I'll give you that. Yeah, and I sure will. But then and, and uh, just continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. There's happy Saturday morning. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands and I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Yes, I do. Uh huh. See, and, and uh, you forgot. You thought, mm hmm. And you thought I forgot about my coffee, didn't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you did. Mm. But I tell you what, you know, God loves you. So do I. Mm, have a wonderful Saturday. Cause, mm, I'm telling my, I'm telling my, hey, have a wonderful Saturday. Mm, hallelujah. God bless you and your family in the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Share this video with a friend. Amen. Amen. And amen.